moving past your South Carolina days, Terrence, obviously you spent some time in the NFL with the Redskins, the Jets. I'm just curious to get your take on your professional football career after South Carolina, some of the things you learned. What was your overall takeaway from the experience? Man, I got better. You know, I got better with my hands. You know, that's the main thing that I learned, how to play more with my hands. You know, the Redskins, I was Redskins and Jets, I was there for a short period of time, but it just it just showed me that I can do it, that I can play, that I was that thankful that I got the opportunity and everything like that. And, and the other leagues that I went to with the Canadian Football League, I dominated it for a year, did great out there for a year, got player of the week, um, office alignment of the week, um, did, did some great things out there, tackle at right tackle, left tackle. Um, I got to play those positions and, and be in Canada and experience Canada. Playing arena football, you know, I got to catch touchdown passes and freaking travel all over and see different places and just, you know, it, it really helped me just with culture. You know, I think I think God was setting me up to, you know, to deal with these different cultures and 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 be in different areas of the world and knowing how to relate to people. And because you know, in South Carolina, you know, it's a lot of times it's people in that common area of the South that come to South Carolina. You know, so we would all have, you know, kind of the same mentality, be around the same age and stuff like that. So going to play professional football just really opened my eyes up with culture and and really just introducing myself to different different lifestyles and different ways of life. You know, and, 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 it, and it helps me right now. You know, it helps me tremendously right now with, with what I'm doing as um, a police officer. Cause I'm just dealing with different people, different mindsets, different different way of policing with police officers. They may think this way and move that way. You know, and it's just like, you know, you learn to, to like, hey, you know, to accept people's opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, like you have an opinion about that and that's how you believe and feel about that. You got to accept that. You got There's nothing wrong with you. That's made how you was raised. Mm -hmm. Who knows how you was raised and how yeah. you grew up? We was down south. We was raised totally different. Grew up totally different. You know, people in California, they're raised totally different. Grew up totally different. So it's just, you know, it, 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 it really was a great experience of, of just culture and stuff like that. And I love, I was fortunate to play five more years. Loved every second of it. Throughout the whole process, I was always training with Melvin and DJ and, you know, Akeem and, mm -hmm. you know, I was I was training with the boys, Bruce Ellington. I was, we was always all training together. It was never, you know, that's what that's what makes it so special. It was never like no, like oh, I don't fool with you, Alshon Jeffrey. Oh, for you ain't in the league no more, bro. Like, like nah, bro. Like, like yeah, you come work out. Need you try. We need to get you back in the league. You know, <laughs> as Melvin would do so many things. Where he tried to talk to his coaches that and Chris Culliver took me up to San Francisco and took me into the offensive line coach's room. Well, I sat down and talked with them and watched them. I, was, I had so many, I had so many opportunities just based off of the guys that was in the NFL that gave me more opportunities and more chances mm -hmm. to get my foot in the door. Yes, I didn't. I never got. I got workout. I never got my foot completely back in the door. But just the simple fact that those guys would would put their name on the line for me, you know, means the world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that it just it just taught me a lot throughout those process throughout those years.